Hi, everybody. I'm Joel Simmons with another Two Minute Turf Talk. We spent a lot of time talking about water here at the Two Minute Turf Talk, and I want to spend some more time talking about water. Uh, we have recently started adding a few things to our water tests that you can see here at the bottom of the report. The PHC, the RSC, and the adjusted SAR, all of which are mathematical calculations the lab is doing for us. And what it does for us is it gives us more information. If you had a chance to listen to our podcast with Kevin Hicks, where he interviewed Rick Tegmeyer, Kevin asked Rick, what was the one thing that keeps you up at night? And he said, it's his water, because water can be, and generally often is, your first limiting factor. If there are red flags in your water, you're going to have some issues in your soils program and your fertility program. One thing I want to talk about very specifically today is waters that are stripping waters. And what that means is oftentimes waters that do not have a lot of mineral in them uh, will try to create an equilibrium by pulling nutrients out of that soil. So if your water is a stripping water, what that means to you is that as you irrigate your property and that water rolls through your root system, there's a very good chance it's going to take with it your important nutrients which means your fertility program has to change to compensate for this. As you see back on this test again, uh, there's a couple quick uh, identification tools that can give us an idea as to how to identify a stripping water or not. One simple one is the cation anion ratio. If that's below one, that generally means it's a stripping water. Uh, down below, you see the PHC. If that's below 8.4, that's also an indication that it's a potential stripping water. Or you could do another calculation by taking the pH and subtracting it from the pHC. And if that's a negative number, you've got a potential stripping water. So what does that mean to you? If your water is a stripping water and when you're in heavy usage for that with that water, you want to make sure that you're compensating your fertility program to add back what you're, what you're uh, having taken out with your irrigation. Simple tricks here at Earthworks. We use our family of fertilizers because they're going to create a sustainability of nutrients and always replenish and remineralize uh, the material that's taken out of that. So that's a quick tip on understanding a little bit more about water. Thank you very much.